Welcome to another Terranscapes video. This video shows a recently completed custom project for a board set comprising of four uh, 18 inch by 24 inch boards that were modeled to have a cratered and muddy uh, appearance. The mud is an epoxy resin that has been tinted and a uh, few of the craters. The customer also requested dead trees and uh, battle damage. The board set is intended for a diorama for World War I figures and so also includes two of the trench sets. The trench sets have been uh, had some added flocking to match the boards and the um, trenches are uh, also um, have the addition of barbed wire um, the barbed wire is a new style, and in World War I, rather than the corkscrew style of barbed wire that uh, we often see in uh, 40K dioramas or modern warfare, the um, barbed wire was strung as a linear fashion along barricades or uh, as a, as a, a box or, um, or actually sometimes just a big jumble all throughout a, a, a tangle of briars, etc. So what I did to um, try to find something that would mimic that feel but be easy for transportation, setup, customer use, was to implant posts into each of the um, trench pieces. Uh, and then the wire can be loosely strung. Let's see if I can pan back here a little bit. So it can be loosely strung onto the pieces and twisted around the edges and then pinch down into a fashion that you desire, customer in this case. And then when I go to ship it, I can unstring all of the wire. It's not glued to the post, so it comes off rather easily. Roll that up and send that to the customer. And then the customer can adjust the layout of the trenches however they want and then restring the uh, wire along the posts. And at each uh, post, let's see if I can pull in a little bit. It's just a simple, so I can pull it off here. Well, let's see if I can get a little, there we go, you can kind of see. It's just a simple little loop, just goes over the post, however you really want. The more uh, crazy you uh, loop it, the more probably realistic it's going to be looking uh, with regards to World War One. It does take a second to finesse the bending, however, as you just noticed when I unbent that. Because all the trench pieces are not uh, f firmly attached, um, takes a little bit of jostling to get the um, wire to press into the trenches the right way so that it keeps them all tight. But with a little bit of care, um, it only took me about five minutes to set this up. Um, and I'm not going to worry about adjusting it at the moment. And you can see this side as well, different pieces, what the uh, posts look like. So move the wire there. The uh, models that the customer sent me um, were uh, Deathcore models. Um, I had discussed these uh, in a previous video previewing this piece, uh, but it gives you an idea of what uh, 30 millimeter or 28 millimeter scan models look like on the barricades, um, on the firing platforms overlooking the sandbags. And the other uh, piece to mention with this set is that because it was going to be used for a diorama, uh, and we'll have a relatively fixed layout when uh, finished, I suggested that it might be nice to dress the sides. Normally I just leave the sides as a painted black, but in this case um, I suggested applying a wood veneer. And so that was done. Uh, this is a, a walnut veneer with uh, a couple coats of varnish on it to give it a nice appearance, a little bit of protection as well. Uh, it was done on uh, these two sides as well as the far two sides over there which would allow boards to be inserted into the middle seams um, these boards could be separated boards could be added to the end and uh, but it will not uh, create a situation where you have the veneer on the interior seams of the boards which uh, looks a little uh, a little bit uh, I don't want to say unsightly but it's just it detracts from the uh, overall appearance of the set so just wanted to give you a, a little view of the new style of uh, razor wire, um, what the uh, uh, sort of a new style of mud, um, and an overall slightly different look for the boards, and to give uh, customers an, um, 
an understanding of uh, the trench sets. This is two of the small trench sets that are sold on the site uh, combined. Um, it does say that each of the sets creates a barrier of approximately 24 inches in length. But I want to be clear, um, you know, I, I probably, uh, this gives me an opportunity to explain that number. Um, this is, it's not 24 inches measured, say, from here to here, because obviously it's a serpentine pattern and can be arranged in a variety of ways. So that's a relative measure as traveled across the center of the trenches as you would, say, take a walk. So from here, measured across to about here, is almost 30 inches in length. Um, but it produces um, a, an overall width, in this case, because of these large corner pieces that have quite a bit of, uh, of edge work here. Um, it uh, produces an overall width here of about um, 18 inches or so. So something to consider when you're looking at the trench pieces and thinking about your layout. Of course, the nice thing is that pieces can always be added, and uh, that's only going to provide you with more flexibility for your layout options.